It's Jeff Greenberg, and I want to show you two different websites to solve the same problem. How do I get some level of Photoshop ability for zero dollars? And the two websites I want to show you are PhotoP, that's photopea.com, and Pixlr, pixlr.com. What makes both of these wonderful is they run in a browser, meaning that they would work anywhere that you've got a browser and a device. Could be your Mac, could even do it off of, say, an iPad. I'm going to start here with Photo P, and I'm just going to go to the File menu and say New. And you'll notice this has got keyboard commands. If you're a Photoshop user, and if you've ever been a Photoshop user, you'll recognize those menus. And it's pulling all this information, whether it's social or print or screen, which is a lot of what I do. I work, I work, I work, UHD, ultra high def. I can sit back and start with one of these templates, just a, just a file if I want. I'll, I'll pick a template here. And when I do, it opens up layers and behaves just amazingly Photoshop-like. Biggest thing I'll tell you with these sort of tools is you'll want to keep your images smaller, under 4,000 by 4,000 under the image. I can go ahead here and I can say, show the image size, and you can see that exact size. Again, really Photoshop-like. When I say that, by the way, I mean that'd be M for the marquee tool, W for the magic wand, B for the brush. I'll want to do that in a new layer. I've clicked a new layer here. I've got B for the brush. My colors here are black on white. I'm just going to go ahead and use the left and right brackets. These are the keys you use in Photoshop to paint. And I'll hit X and it'll give me white because X switches the colors here. And again, that was B for brush. V for the move tool. Tab key will remove the palettes. If this feels like Photoshop, it's because, and this is crazy, it feels like Photoshop. What do you need to know? Well, under the file menu, you better be saving your work. If you get disconnected from the internet, if you reload this tab, it will go ahead and lose all of this work. You can form an account that gives you a little bit more safety about keeping your work. You can even open up your work, not only from this device, but from Google Drive, from Dropbox, you can get to Photoshop templates here that they've distributed for free, as well as every format across the bottom, including RAW. It's just a phenomenal way for me to work when I don't have Photoshop handy, or if I don't want to spend that $10 a month for Photoshop. And if you go here to account, you'll see what they give you more under premium for more functionality. It's pretty impressive. It's one guy doing this. I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention Pixlr. Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com, has got two different flavors here. Pixlr X, which is sort of like Canva, it's sort of like a quick and easy way to do some work, or something that's more Photoshop-like. And since I showed you Photop, I'll show you Pixlr E. And I'm just going to go ahead here on the left. I could say open something from my computer, but I'm just going to say images, and it's doing a search here. I'll do something like tutorial. Let's see what we get. And I'm just going to select one of these. It's going to say, hey, this is a large image. I really like the fact that Pixlr gives you a little bit of warning when you open up something that might be memory heavy. I'm going to say Ultra HD. And then we've got layers, Photoshop-like. I can hit B for brush, very Photoshop-like. I'll hit X to exchange. If it sort of feels like Photoshop to me, it is. I'm going to undo that last step, undo, create a new layer. So when I'm painting, it's easy to turn it on and off because it's its own layer. Last, I wanted to mention Pixlr X. Again, it's another really powerful Photoshop for free, barring the premium pricing, but they've got templates. I'm going to go ahead here. I want to go choose to put something up on Instagram, an Instagram post. It's got holiday stuff loaded. I might take something like this, use this template. It's ready to go. I might just replace it with the background. And that's where I would put my information and change as needed, any of the text or the like, with, again, that ability to uh, save this, to be able to kick this out or publish directly to Instagram. I'm going to toggle back home. So there are three Photoshop replacements for you. Photo P, which really feels dead on the Photoshop. Pixlr E, which feels close, but with a little bit more GUI and, and a premium plan that costs more, but gets a lot of functionality. 
And finally, Pixlr X, which is just a sort of an easy, don't know much about what I'm doing, Photoshop replacement. Hope you've enjoyed this, and best of all, this saves you money. 